This is the BW Space Pro Underwater Drone by UCAN Robot. I was approached by the company You Can Robot and asked if I would do a story on their underwater drone. Now usually I don't do these types of stories, but unlike air drones, an underwater drone is kind of interesting and they did let me use the drone so I could see what it was like and so I could get my own footage. So I thought, why not? Now in case you were wondering, the main difference between a flying drone and an underwater drone is that flying drones can fly away from you for up to 7 kilometers or 4 miles as long as you can maintain a signal to the drone. But an underwater drone is connected by an umbilical communication cable to a Wi-Fi repeater near you, so you can keep in constant contact with the drone even when it's at over 300 feet below water. So before we get started on the drone, let's do a quick unboxing and see what you get. Everything you need to operate the drone comes in the box. There is no need to buy any other hardware, but you will need a smartphone or tablet to control the drone. But to get the best quality footage, you might want to invest in a VR headset. So once you fully unbox everything, you will see you have the drone, the Wi-Fi repeater, an Xbox type controller with a smartphone holder, a battery charger, a manual, and 100 meters or 330 feet spool of communication cable. Now the drone itself is really well made and has a nice heavy duty feel to it. Each corner has a grab handle which also acts as bumper bars. It has four propellers, one on each side for forwards and backwards movement and two at the top to make it go up and down. At the front of the drone you have the main camera and two headlights which are really bright and can be controlled to be raised or lowered in brightness while underwater so you can light up a subject area exactly how you want it. Now that you have everything out of the box and you spend some time charging everything up, you need to download some operating software from the UCAM website so your smartphone can operate the drone. But once you have downloaded the software and started up, you select the drone and now your phone turns from a website looking menu to now a visual of what the drone camera is seeing. Now there was one issue I had trouble with and that was getting the Xbox controller communicating with my smartphone. I tried everything the manual told me to do, but never got it working. I'm sure it was something simple I was just not doing, but I just couldn't figure that part out. So instead I just simply used my phone as the screen and controller, which worked fine. Now I'm going to assume most people will use these drones from a boat, checking out schools of fish or coral reefs. But I don't own a boat, and neither do any of my friends, so my options were limited to using it in local ponds or lakes, or off the end of a pier at the beach. But all three options would not give me very clear water footage. But I've seen videos on YouTube of ultra clear water lakes where you can see right to the bottom. So I googled if we had any of those in Australia, and we had one, but it was in the next state. 
So the footage you're about to see, I had to drive over a thousand kilometers to get. But it was either this, or footage of me using it in my neighbor's swimming pool, or off the pier at my local beach in murky water. Now the place I went to was called Uwen Ponds in South Australia. You can find various videos on YouTube of people scuba diving and snorkeling here, as the waters are so clear. One of the nicest features of the drone is you have the ability on your phone to set the depth and angle of the drone and make it stay there. So even with your hands off the phone, the drone will continuously use its motors to maintain that depth and angle. I found it moved through the water fairly easily, forwards, backwards, up and down. But making it turn on an arc was not so easy. Again, it may just be me and my novice use of a drone, or maybe it would be easy with the Xbox controller, but I found I had to stop moving forward, turn to the direction I needed, then move forward again. Turning on an arc and seeing what I was filming on a sunny day were the only two real issues I had with the drone. Otherwise, it was really easy to use and did a good job collecting footage. Now unlike flying drones that seem to only last for about 20 to 25 minutes, the BW Space Pro underwater drone can keep going for 3 to 5 hours, depending on use. So now that I've used the drone for about 5 hours, testing in my neighbour's pool, taking it to my local beach and then Uwen Ponds, I can say for sure it's a really nice drone and would be a great asset to have as a scuba diver, checking out areas before diving or just to collect footage of sea life or coral reef areas. And actually, it may also be good to use to film sharks up close. But regardless how you might use an underwater drone, I just don't know how much use you would get out of it, unless your job, YouTube channel or hobby is based around filming underwater. As I cannot see how you would get the full benefit of an underwater drone unless you have access to a boat. But if you do have a boat and nice clear water to use the drone at, 
it will capture some amazing footage at up to 330 feet deep and up to five hours at a time. And that's just something no average scuba diver or GoPro can do. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.